right now, the Marcus Randall L trial enters a new phase today after the prosecution and defense make their cases. Also, California dealing with multiple mass shootings in a matter of days as vigils are planned for the victims. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in. We begin with breaking news in the trial of former Wisconsin Badger Marcus Randall L. The judge says she expects closing arguments to happen soon. For the latest, we go live now to Catherine. On this sixth day of trial, we learned that Marcus Randallel himself would not testify in the case against him. He utilized his right and pled the Fifth Amendment, the right to remain silent. And that brings us closer and closer to closing arguments. The judge says after the lunch break we're currently in right now, she expects closing arguments to take place for both the state and the defense. Court will resume back at 1 p.m. We're unable to live stream this trial due to rock county court rules. So we're continuing live coverage on this trial on our website and social media pages. You can follow me along on my Twitter at Katherine Merck TV and on channel 3000.com where we're giving you a recap of each day of the trial. And of course, we'll have the latest updates in our newscast this afternoon. Reporting live in Janesville, I'm Katherine Merck for News 3 Now. Catherine, thank you. More than $6,000 worth of lottery tickets were stolen Saturday from a gas station on Madison's north side. Police say it happened just before 9 p.m. in the 1000 block of North Sherman Avenue. One man allegedly ordered an employee to the ground at gunpoint and the other man stole from the register. No injuries were reported. As of this morning, no arrests have been made. Let's head to the patio now. Meteorologist Kelly Slifka has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. So much for the sun. Yeah, we uh, had a little bit earlier, but uh, now we are kind of socked in with the clouds here in the backyard on the uh, south side of Madison. North side might still be seeing a little bit of sun. You can see on our cloud track uh, where you're seeing that darker shading north side of Dane County up through DeForest and then over into uh, Columbia and uh, Salt County seeing a little bit of sun. But from uh, about south Madison down toward the uh, border, pretty much socked in with clouds. You might see a peak or two of sun yet going into the afternoon, but we're going to call for more clouds than sun for today, and uh, we're not expecting a whole lot of uh, sun over the next, well, week or so, really. Uh, temperatures now 32. It's really not too bad as far as temperatures are concerned for this time of January. Typically, this is some of the coldest weather that we typically see all season long. Uh, winds right now are 8 to 10 miles per hour, not as breezy as yesterday, and that we don't expect them to. Now, we are expecting some snow showers to move in later tonight toward the Illinois border, more likely to tomorrow and on and off snow showers just about all day long. As we go into Friday and Saturday, there's going to be another chance of seeing some snow moving in both Friday and Saturday. And then behind the, uh, the third system on Saturday, the Arctic chill is headed our way for the weekend and all of next week. So we're in store for a, a prolonged cold period, it looks like, uh, going into uh, next week. So we'll call for some low 30s uh, this afternoon, a mostly cloudy sky. Winds will be a lot lighter than yesterday. We'll talk more about the uh, snow chances now. Not only tomorrow, but the brutally Arctic uh, cold air headed away next week coming up. Plenty of winter left. That's right. Thanks, Kelly. Mm -hmm. California is really from a spate of gun violence that has claimed 19 lives since Saturday. Yesterday, eight people were shot, seven of them killed at two agricultural businesses south of San Francisco. The sheriff says the alleged gunman drove himself to the parking lot of the sheriff's station and was arrested. They had their guns drawn, took a, several ass, he, and then he got out of the car and eventually he um, was taken down to the ground by them. In Monterey Park, a vigil is planned for later today honoring the now 11 victims of Saturday's violent attack. And late last night, at least seven people were hurt and one killed at a gas station in Oakland. Two teenagers are dead after a shooting at an alternative high school created to keep teens out of trouble in Des Moines yesterday. The program's founder, 49-year-old Will Holmes, is in serious condition. According to police, 18-year-old Preston Walls brought a handgun with an extended ammunition magazine into the program. When Holmes allegedly tried to escort Walls out, police say Walls pulled the handgun and began to shoot both teenage victims. Police say evidence indicates that the shooting was the result of a gang dispute According to Education Week, this is the sixth school-related shooting of the year. I tell you, there isn't a moment of it. You don't sleep. You don't. Because your brain tells you they're gone. And your heart says, just keep hoping. 
A Verona mother is sharing her young child's struggle with gender identity and acceptance in hopes that other parents take note before another light like Graciela Sawyer is extinguished. A warning, this story may be difficult to watch. Artie Hill Maldine has more. They wanted to make the world fair. When a young Graciela Sawyer was asked if they could be any inanimate object, they chose the scales of justice. Mom Dia Calkin says what troubled her 14-year-old the most, seeing others mistreated. For any reason, and they would stick up for anybody who needed help. For Calkins, Graciela Sawyer's commitment to making the world a better place was inspiring, but it was also worrying. They would sometimes have these terrible panic attacks. She says they wanted to do everything to protect others, yet it was Graciela Sawyer who was in need of protection. They thought they were disgusting and I would tell them they weren't disgusting. I would tell them that they were beautiful and amazing. But a therapist and support at home couldn't completely combat the unkind words. Telling them that they were ugly. It was in the middle of the night late last fall that Calkin had her last conversation with her child. I touched their hand and I was like, Graciela Sawyer, you're so strong, you can get through, I love you, and we'll get through this. And they put her in an ambulance and her heart stopped. Graciela's story isn't alone. New state data shows suicide numbers are most alarming for students in the LGBTQ plus community. Last year, 48% of LGB students seriously considered suicide. For trans students, that rate was 53%. I think that's just one more reason to remember that really every single one of us beyond the family and beyond the school have a role to play. Stories like Graciela's are the reasons why state leaders push for everyone to use people's preferred names and pronouns and recommend intervening when another child displays non-inclusive behavior. When students' pronouns are not um, respected, they're twice as likely to attempt suicide. Graciela Sawyer's mom says, think about the words we use before another light like Graciela Sawyer's is extinguished. Your heart says, just keep hoping. And there isn't any, and I know that there isn't any. You just want them back. Even in death, Graciela Sawyer continues to care for others by donating their heart, liver, and kidneys. Their mother says all the questions that still remain, she has no doubt it's what Graciela Sawyer would have wanted. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health issues or considering suicide, there are resources available to help. Calling 988 Nationwide will connect you to the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. In Dane County, Journey Mental Health Center has a 24-7 suicide prevention hotline at 608-280-2600. Local groups including Outreach Madison and PFLAG have been established to support members of the LGBTQ community. There's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon. A big announcement from M&M's why the company is putting a pause on its spokes candies. That's next in our Money Watch Report. Spark inspiration at the Build and Remodel Expo. Chat with local experts showcasing the latest innovations in home building and remodeling. Browse kitchen, bath, and new home construction trends. Visit buildremodelexpo.com for more information. Low E has hurt my ability to perform. He hasn't been able to make the bed in years. Now there's hope. Now through January 31st, join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time, and turn your low energy into big fitness energy in 2023 in a clean and spacious, judgment-free zone with tons of equipment to get you energized. Low E, not for me. Simply join through the free PF app for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. Deal ends Tuesday, January 31st. Do you have a coffee smile? Drinking coffee causes yellow teeth for thousands of people just like you, and whitening too Toothpaste just doesn't make those stains go away. Introducing Power Swabs, the first teeth whitening system that lifts coffee stains off your teeth in less than five minutes without whitening strips or trays. The Power Swabs were so easy to use. I don't have to have strips 
sitting on my face for an hour. I don't have to have a foam tray where I feel like I'm gonna gag or I'm gonna go play football. I've tried like every over-the-counter whitening because you know I'm one of those people that I'm like obsessed with white teeth. So with the strips I've used in the past, most of them are like you gotta leave it on for 30 minutes and the whole experience is just not comfortable. But with power swabs, I just snapped it open and rubbed it on and it was good to go. This didn't sting, it didn't burn, it didn't have an aftertaste. It was just a swab <laughs> and I just got a rub around my teeth and that was it. The Secret is a tooth detergent and whitening agent developed by Dr. Martin Ginnicker that lifts stains off of your teeth. Power Swabs remove stains on natural teeth, veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. The best part is you just swab your teeth for five minutes and you'll have whiter teeth. No more sitting at home with a whitening strip or tray in your mouth for 30 minutes twice a day. When I used these whitening strips, I noticed when I would drink, I would get this crazy sensitivity. It would go right to my brain and I'm like, ah, I hate this. So why do I have to go through the monstrosity of this pain just because I want to whiten my teeth. With power swabs, there was zero sensitivity. Within the first day with the power swab, I noticed there was a difference. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's going to be wider. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Whiten your teeth this new year by ordering power swabs and receive up to 50% off the regular price. Yes, 50% off the regular price. Shipping is free, plus you'll receive a free quick stick pen. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen. The entertainment ticketing industry is under scrutiny today on Capitol Hill. A Senate panel will hear testimony from several witnesses, including the president and CFO of Live Nation, which merged with Ticketmaster back in 2010, the CEO of SeatGeek, and Clyde Lawrence of the band Lawrence. Issues with the ticketing industry came to a head last November when a meltdown by Ticketmaster's website blocked Taylor Swift fans from buying tickets. According to its opening statement obtained by CBS, Live Nation blames the fiasco on bots and online secondary marketplaces. The tech industry has been hit with even more layoffs this week. This time, media streaming service Spotify is cutting 6% of its workforce, roughly 600 jobs. The company's chief content officer, Don Ostroff, also stepping down. Spotify's announcement follows similar moves from several other major tech companies, including Google, Meta, and Twitter. And M&M says it's putting an indefinite pause on its spokes candies. In a statement, the company said the characters were, quote, polarizing. Some right-wing media personalities have slammed recent changes to these characters, and instead the company is replacing them with actress and comedian Maya Rudolph as the new spokesperson and chief of fun. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up almost two points. The Nasdaq, though, down 21 and a half. The S&P 500 down five and a half. Pam Yankee's out of the radio barn today, but next at noon, Kelly is back with the latest first worn forecast. And then today on Live at 4, from sheets to air purifiers, Consumer Reports shows you how to make your bedroom sleep friendly. That's at 4. Look at these beautiful cabinet options, gorgeous wood stains, cascade white, several designs and hardware choices. Now imagine them in your kitchen. Mad City is Wisconsin's number one remodeler and trusted local source for kitchen cabinet refacing. Transform your cabinets, countertops and more in as little as two days. It's our winter half off labor event. Receive 50% off installation of a cabinet refacing project. We install year round and with our price lock guarantee, we'll guarantee your price for one year. Plus 24 months, no interest and no payments. Senior and military discounts and a bonus. The first 50 homeowners who call during this program will receive a vacation voucher with purchase of a cabinet refacing project. Use for a condo, hotel stay or a cruise. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. Lake Ridge may be a new name, but it isn't a new bank. It's one built on over a century of community commitment. 
one equipped with all the knowledge and resources of 145 collective years of experience. Monona Bank and State Bank of Cross Plains are coming together as one. As Lake Ridge Bank, we're doing more together for you. All right, team, we got a big project coming up. And it all starts with ordering promotional products. I'm on it. Four Imprint makes it easy to get the logo products you're looking for. The latest in apparel, drinkware, bags, high-tech items, and more. You can be certain of getting it right at 4imprint.com. Come on out. I'm on it. Four Imprint. For certain. Next week on my show, yeah, I've got some great guests. And my next show is an all-out laugh fest. <laughs> And meet my makeup. Plus, this TikToker can teach us all a thing or two. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. If you like your tacos with a twist, you're going to want to try this Restaurant Week newcomer. Tomorrow, we'll learn how local ingredients bring top-notch flavor to the table. And we'll have an update on the snow and road conditions in the morning. Join us between 4.30 and 7. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report is out of the radio barn today. She's attending an Egg Outlook Forum at the UW. She'll be back tomorrow. So here are your farm numbers. certified most accurate forecast meteorologist Kelly Slifka out on the weather patio Kelly yeah yesterday we had all that sunshine at this hour unfortunately today the clouds have pretty much moved back in we saw a little bit earlier but uh, mainly areas to the north are seeing the sun right now but we've got some changes coming our way over the next few days Temperatures pretty seasonal. That means some upper 20s and low 30s. Uh, but by the weekend, the uh, temperatures are really going to start to drop. And uh, we're talking about some bitterly cold Arctic air headed our way next week. We haven't seen that really have to go back to Christmas when we saw some really cold air. But it looks like it's headed away, And it's going to be a prolonged period of uh, bitterly cold weather next week. Uh, meantime, we do have some snow chances and several of them to close out the week. And gradually, we're going to see some accumulation. We'll get a little bit here, a little bit there. And as we go into the weekend, we're going to continue to accumulate some of that snow and as that last system approaches us on Saturday it's going to turn colder and breezy and we could be talking about a little bit of uh, blowing and drifting snow that's going to be that light powdery snow as we go into a uh, Saturday initially our storm system that we're talking about coming in tomorrow is way down south it's right now impacting Texas uh, Oklahoma into Kansas that system is going to take a track right through the Ohio Valley so we're going to get brushed by it it's mainly going to be affecting the uh, Chicago land area central Illinois but we'll be on the northern fringe that we will likely see at least some lighter snows moving in by tomorrow morning. Uh, right now we're at 32 degrees, uh, a little bit cooler to the north and west, while uh, Janesville right now is warm as 34 degrees across Dane County. Most of us are in the lower 30s, uh, 31 in Cottage Grove, Stoughton 31 and uh, 32 up in Wanakee. So seasonably mild temperatures, I guess, for this time of January, considering our average high now is in the upper 20s. Uh, winds aren't as strong, but noticeable. They're coming in out of the west and southwest up there at 8 to 10 miles per hour. So our future track, this is a starting out tomorrow morning. So we've got the snow starting to creep into extreme southern Wisconsin just as the rush hour is starting. So something to uh, consider, especially areas south of Madison. Uh, looks like this will be 
mainly affecting uh, southern Wisconsin with some snow, but the heavier snow is going to stay across the border into Illinois. And it's going to be snowing uh, for, throughout much of the day, not continuously, but we'll have periods of some snow showers throughout the day. So we can expect at least some minor accumulation. In the Madison area, maybe upwards of an inch. As you get closer to the Illinois border, we're talking about one to two inches. However, any plans to uh, Chicago, you will be impacted quite a bit more, expecting two to four inches of snow. And then the bitterly cold air is going to come in. Most of our storm systems so far this month have not really wrapped into some of that bitterly cold air coming out of Canada. The last one on Saturday will, and this is going to plunge all the way down throughout the northern tier of the United States. And it's just going to rotate across the northern tier and bring us uh, much cooler than average temperatures, it looks like, as we close out the month of January and jump right into uh, February. So it looks like well below average temperatures, it looks like, to start the new month of uh, February. Of course, we're getting closer and closer to, well, somewhat into spring. Anyway, nothing like that anytime soon. Temperatures in the 30s the next couple of days, upper 20s Thursday. A little snow accumulation tomorrow. Another chance of some smaller accumulation Friday and then also Saturday. Then we tap into that Arctic air. Afternoon highs Sunday into next week, barely getting into the teens. Some overnight lows in the single numbers, and I wouldn't doubt if we don't see some below zero temperatures as well. So get ready for some Arctic air. It's coming our way. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to have to deal with a little bit of snow uh, come for the for the morning commute tomorrow, and then again on Friday and Saturday. It was too good to last. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Gil, thank you. Up next, Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen has a recipe that's so good that his assistant Kelly says she would choose it for her last meal. That's quite a testimonial. Recently, we came up with a twist on a fancy restaurant favorite that's super simple, it's packed with flavor, and is one of Kelly's favorites. With all that it has going for it, I can't wait to show it to you. Since most chicken breasts in the market are pretty thick, for the dish we're making today, we want to either pound them until they're about a half an inch thick, or cut them in half horizontally. To make sure every bite is juicy and flavorful, we poke them all over with a fork before soaking them in a homemade lemon rosemary olive oil marinade. When they're done marinating, we dredge them in flour and saute them until they're golden and cooked through. Then we'll take them out of the pan, add a bit more oil, and saute some onions. Once these are tender, we add a bit of lemon juice, some white wine, and a little Dijon mustard. And when you serve these tender as can be chicken breast, topped with the sauce, you'll know exactly why this is one of Kelly's all time favorites. So don't wait another minute. Hop on our website and look for what we call crazy good rosemary chicken. We promise you won't be disappointed. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Task Kitchen, where today we found Kelly's and Soon to be your favorite way to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up, UW Health Clinical Dietitian Michelle Swader is back in the studio to talk about rising food prices and offer some shopping tips. What you need to know after the break. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. They're all soft closed doors and soft closed drawers. It's pretty cool. They'll shut down by itself. The same thing with the drawers. I am excited to come home and to use my kitchen. Homeowners love the convenience of soft closed doors and drawers from Mad City Kitchens. We are your trusted local source for cabinet refacing. Give your kitchen a brand new look and feel from updated cabinets and countertops to lazy Susans and a new kitchen sink. We install in as little as two days. So call now during our winter half off labor event. Receive 50% off installation of a cabinet refacing project with 24 months, no interest, no payments. Senior and military discounts, plus the bonus. The first 50 homeowners who call during this program will receive a vacation voucher with purchase of a cabinet refacing project. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. Wisconsin. It's easy to take for granted how we warm up. 
But what if you couldn't warm up so easily? For many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. This is me, and this was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sonobello changed my life. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-803-2714 or go to sonobello.com. UW Health Clinical Dietitian Michelle Swader is back with us. Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy New Year, I guess. I've seen yes, you since it's right. a little late in the year, but <laughs> we're talking food prices. And why, why are they so high right now? There's actually several reasons, which makes it really complicated. We obviously have the avian flu, which affects eggs, but we also still have some COVID lingering transportation costs. Um, farmers are starting to raise livestock from scratch again, so there's a delay in what's available for meat. Even the war in Ukraine affects wheat prices, so there's a lot of different things that are affecting almost every aisle in the grocery store. Is there a way to combat that? There's a few, some, some newer tips. Um, traditionally, your local cheese shop, your local butcher shop, your farmer's market eggs, used to be more on the expensive side, but now because they're local, you don't have to deal with a lot of those extra costs. So you might actually find more affordable prices in those places now than you used to. And shop around? Shop around, definitely. If you have the ability to go to different stores, you can start off at, at more of a discount store, you know, uh, an Aldi's or a Walmart. And then if there's something a little bit more higher end or something specialty that you can find at those places, hopefully you'll save enough money to be able to get what you need. Um, there's a lot of hand wringing over the price of eggs. Yes. They're up. But they're not outrageous. Yeah, I mean, you hear stories the national average is, is up 50 to 60 percent, but I think if you look in our grocery stores in the Midwest, you're not going to see as high of prices. You're going to pay more than you used to, but sometimes even the egg beaters might be cheaper that day than buying the actual, you know, carton of eggs. So again, shopping around is always a good idea, and different stores might have different prices. Are there protein alternatives? Definitely, you know, we've talked about eating less meat for climate reasons here in the past, but now a lot of people are doing meatless meals every once in a while just to help on the cost of meat. And you can still, you know, it's still a meat, but you could maybe do affordable fish or you could do um, some of the more plant-based, obviously tofu, but also um, nuts and seeds and, and yogurts and different types of proteins. And these prices affect lower income people the most and they still want to make, have nutritious meals. Any, mm -hmm. any tips there? Yeah, one thing that I like to do, it, it's good this time of year anyway, is just to kind of do a, a clean out the pantry, clean out the freezer day where, you know, maybe you've got some meat that's been in there forever. Maybe you've got some veggies or some rice. Make a family challenge. Try to throw together a stew or a soup or an egg bake that takes a lot of different ingredients and it's pretty forgiving. And then you don't need as high of a grocery list because a lot of the stuff you can pull from your own pantry that's just been kind of hanging around. Good advice. And prices should come down eventually. Yes. Lots of different reasons. Michelle, thank you. Thank you. Here's Kelly. One final check of the forecast. All right, looks like the clouds have pretty much have moved in. For most areas, still a little bit of sun, areas to the north, and it'll be quiet today, most of tonight. However, waking up tomorrow morning, might start to see some of the snow starting to creep in from the south. This is coming in with a storm track that is going to stay to our south, but that may be impacting the roads for the morning commute. And snow showers on and off throughout the day. Any accumulation should be pretty light. We'll see you later today.